Hi, welcome back. We wanted to talk to you today a little bit about shore excursions. <laughs> so apparently you like snorkeling. I do. Thank you for asking. Do you wear that often? I wear it at least once a year when I'm down in the Caribbean. Okay. But I will tell you this. Tell me. If I could just have a quick moment to speak to those of you who wear prescription glasses. Snorkeling can be one of the most frustrating things for prescription glasses wearer, especially if you don't have contacts or don't want to go out and purchase contacts. So what I did is I went to my eye doctor and said, Doctor, what is the closest generic prescription that is closest or nearest to my actual eyeglass mm -hmm. RX? Mm -hmm. Um, and she provided me a very generic number, which I used when I went to Amazon.com and purchased generic prescription snorkel mask for a fraction of the cost. So you don't I have to wear your glasses when you're actually so I don't have to. And I can see the fish just fine. I've got my own okay. snorkel. I bring this with me so I don't have to be sharing this with 100 other people when I'm down in the Caribbean. It works out just great. Uh, so generic prescription snorkel mask. If you want to make your own excursion at any of the ports, I would strongly recommend that you would consider that. Awesome. So speaking of shore excursions, uh, there's lots of options. You can book with the cruise line. Mm -hmm. You can research your own excursions with an independent um, company and go that route. But we would highly recommend if it's your first time, maybe to stick with uh, the cruise line's recommended shore excursions. And the reason is, is if it's delayed, and or if you're on a independent excursion group mm -hmm. and you get delayed the ship will leave you um, they will not wait for you but we have heard that if you were with the cruise line shore excursion group and something happens they will wait for you so that is something to just keep in mind as you're considering different options again if it's your first time you may want to consider going with the cruise line just to get an experience and how it works um, and then yeah pick something that you really like uh, doing if you um, Oh, do you have another tip? Well, I'm just thinking in terms of some of the excursions. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like uh, we did the Western Caribbean um, itinerary with the Oasis of the Seas. One of the excursions that we went on last year was we climbed the waterfalls at Jamaica, the oh, Duns yeah. River Falls. Yeah, Duns River Falls. But they are riddled with rocks uh, that you're walking on as you go up the falls. Mm -hmm. So um, a good pair of water shoes are always also recommended as a nice little add-on to throw in your backpack and bring with you. And I believe you wore those kind of around the other ports when we got off just because they were so easy to slip on and off. And... I, I did. If you get sturdy enough water shoes, they actually function just like shoes with support and everything. Great. And you can kind of bring them with you and just kind of use them as like a, a utility shoe. Awesome. So. Great. So that's what we'd recommend if you have any questions about sore excursions or... Um, We'd be happy to answer them. Feel free to comment below or ask us. And then uh, to like and subscribe if you would like to see more of what we have to say. That's right. And uh, we'll do our best to provide our uh, opinions and information for you. Okay. See Thanks. you at the next video. See ya. Bye.